everyone welcome to my channel Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute basic granny square um, this is very beginner friendly this is really um, usually the first granny square people um, tend to make so with this one I used five different colors so I used a white and um, you know you can just I'm just using yarn that I have kind of laying around so you can just use whatever yarn that you have laying around for this so I've got a white here and then I want mine pink I think we're gonna make this into a purse eventually um, so I've got various colors of pink so I've got a variegated pink and then I've got um, a couple of other shades of pink here some darker some lighter so various different shades of pink is what I'm doing and then of course I've got the white there so I think what I'm going to start out doing is I think I will start out the very middle part being white again maybe that'll be my common thread for this is the very middle being white so you can do this a couple of different ways so you can either do it in a magic ring like this or you can chain two and work in your second chain from the hook. I like to start mine in a magic ring, so that's what I'm going to do. So, and if you don't know how to do a magic ring, I've got a video on that. So here, I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to do two double crochets, and that first chain two is counting as a stitch. So I'm gonna do two double crochets in the magic ring, And then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do three double crochets in my magic ring. And then I'm going to chain two again and do three double crochets again in the magic ring. And then I'm gonna chain two one more time actually I will do it another time after this but and then I'm going to do uh, three more double crochets in the magic rings all right and now I'm going to chain two one more time and that's it so now I'm just going to pull my magic ring closed and get it as tight as you can when you close it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch that first um, stitch that I made so the top of the chain two that we began with so I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain two that we began with and then I'm just going to tie it off pull it through here and not everybody ties theirs to be honest with you some people just work it in but I like to tie mine also and then I'll work it in also so I like to do both with mine but I'll uh, I'll work it in at the end just FYI that may be just a little tight there but that's okay all right so now we're going to change our colors so and you can really start in any stitch that you want to do this um, you can start in the um, space that you were working in before that chain two right before all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change colors and so the color I went with last time was this kind of a mauve pink so I think I'm going to go with the hmm let's say I'll go with this color this time so a little bit brighter of the pink so I like to mix it up and not do the same thing every single um, every single time so here I'm just going to chain two then I'm going to do two double crochets in that chain two space from your previous row and then 
So I've got my three double crochets here. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do three double crochets in this chain two space. So we're going to do one, two, and three. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to do three more double crochets in that um, chain two space. So that same space. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to go to our next chain two space. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do three double crochets in that chain two space from before. We're going to chain two and we're going to do another three double crochets in that chain two space. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to go to our next um, chain two space. So we're going to do three double crochets. Then we're going to chain two. And we're going to do three more double crochets. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that first chain two space that we started working in. So here we're just going to do three double crochets. So we're making our corner. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first um, double crochet that we made. Now I'm going to tie this off. And of course, at the end, of course, we'll have to go through and work all of our ends in. So. But again, I still like to tie them. Alright, so then we're finished with color number two. So let's move on to color number three. So let's say color number three, I'm going to go with the, my, let's go with my variegated color. So I'm going to start in any of the corners yet again. So I'm going to attach my yarn. And I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do two double crochets. Then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do three double crochets in your chain one space. So each time you have a chain one space, you're going to do three double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one again. Now I'm going to do three double crochets in this chain two space. So three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three more double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets in your chain one space. I'm going to chain one again. Now I'm working in the chain two space so I'm working in my corner. So I'm going to do three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three more double crochets. So I've done my three double crochets so I'm going to chain two 
I'm going to do three more double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in the chain one space. I'm going to chain one again. I'm going to do three double crochets in the chain two space. Then I'm going to chain two. Then I'm going to do another three double crochets in that chain two space. And that's every time we make a corner. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do three more double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in that um, chain one space. I'm going to chain one and then in this corner here, the one we started in, I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to slip stitch in the top of that um, chain two that we did earlier, so that first that one that we made. Then I'm going to tie this one off. Alright, so the next color I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to do this um, lighter pink here. So again, the same thing we've been doing. So find that chain two space in the corner, touch our yarn, chain two, and then we're going to do three double crochets in this corner. We're going to chain one. And in that chain one spot, we're going to do three double crochets. Then we're going to chain one again. In the next chain one spot, we're going to do another three double crochets. We're going to chain one again. In the next chain two spot, we're going to do three double crochets. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to do three more double crochets in that same stitch. And that makes our corner. We're going to chain one. We're going to do three double crochets in that chain one space. We're going to chain one again. And we're going to do three more double crochets in that chain one space. And guys, if you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it. Now we're going to chain one again and we're going to do three double crochets in that chain two space. We're going to chain two and we're going to do three more double crochets in that chain two space. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to do three double crochets in that chain one space from before. Now we're going to chain one again and we're going to do three double crochets in the chain one space, the next chain one space. And we're going to chain one and then we're going to, in that corner, we're going to do three double crochets
we're going to chain two and then we're going to do three more double crochets in that same stitch and we're going to chain one and then we're going to do three double crochets in the chain one spot from earlier Now we're going to chain one again. We're going to do three more double crochets in the next chain one spot from your previous round. And we're going to chain one again. And we're going to go back to our chain two space that we started in. And so we're going to do three double crochets. We're going to chain two and then we're going to connect to the top of that chain two, the first one that we made, our connecting chain. And we're going to cut our yarn and move to the next one. Alright, so now we got one more color that we're going to do on this one. Um, if you have more colors, you would just kind of repeat this, the same thing that we've been doing over and over again. So I think I'm going to end, I'll end with I guess the mauve color here. So again, we're just going to do what we've been doing. So we're going to connect our yarn. And we're going to chain two. And this is a corner, just by the way, so we're doing two double crochets and we're going to chain one and then we're going to go to our next chain one space from our previous round and we're going to do three double crochets there and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to do our go into our next um, chain one from our previous round and we're going to do three double crochets there then we're going to chain one again we're going to go to the next chain one space from our previous round and do three double crochets there then we're going to chain one and now we're at our corner so we're going to in the corner, which is chain two space, we're gonna ch we're gonna do three double crochets, and then we're going to chain two and do three more double crochets. Now we're going to chain one. And we're going to go to our next chain one space from our previous round. We're going to do three double crochets. Then we're going to chain one and go to our next space from our previous round and do three double crochets. chain one and we're going to do three double crochets in our next chain one space from the previous round and then we're going to chain one again and we're going to do three double crochets in that chain two space from our previous round this is our corner again And then we're going to chain two and we're going to do three more double crochets there. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to do three double crochets in that um, 
chain space, that chain one space for our previous round. And we're going to chain one, and then we're going to go to our next single crochet space. And we're going to do three double crochets there. And we're going to chain one. We're going to go to our next uh, chain one space and do three double crochets there. And we're going to chain one and we're going to go to our corner space, our chain two space, and we're going to do our three double crochets. And we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do three more double crochets in that chain two space from our previous round. Then we're going to chain one, and we're going to do three double crochets in that chain one space from our previous round. We're going to chain one and go to our next chain one space, and we're going to do three double crochets in that. chain one, go to our next chain one space, do three double crochets in that. And we're going to chain one again, and then we're going to do go to our uh, space that we started with, the chain two space we started with, and we're going to do three double crochets. We're going to chain two and then we're going to slip stitch that first um, chain two that we made. tie this back here first and then work in the ends. Alright guys and that is it. That is how you make a beginner granny square right here. Now if you wanted yours larger you could keep on adding colors and adding and adding and adding until you got to the size that you wanted yours. But this is um, exactly what I'm wanting here. So this is how you do it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy hooking everybody.